three, two, one. Good morning, everyone. I'm Fox 47 News Chief Meteorologist Brad Sugden. Much colder with some breezy winds through the day. Our next storm system, unfortunately, arrives for us this afternoon. So with some ice chances and some snow coming on by, that means that the evening commute could be a little slow going. And then especially for the morning, even though all the precipitation will be out of here by then, it'll be cold enough that I think we'll still have some freezing on the roads as well. Good news is for the weekend, it'll be much warmer and much more tranquil. We are under a winter weather advisory that will go through the evening into the overnight for our storm system passing on by and here's how things look so again a couple light rain showers possible to the south this morning if they're materializing notice not a whole lot going on but as we go through the day we're going to see things slowly transition over to the possibility for some freezing rain right there snow off to the north and that'll pretty much last as we go into the afternoon by the evening everyone transitions over to some snow and i know the roads are pretty warm the ground is warm but keep in mind with numbers like this snow falling down and wind blowing that cold air right down to the surface they will cool off really fast and i do think we'll have some tricky roads out there despite it have been so warm for the past few days especially into friday morning look at those numbers bone chilling out there for sure it's been very few days like that this winter we've had numbers that cold and then into the day tomorrow your classic february cold day coming our way now in terms of freezing rain we're going to have the possibility for some areas maybe around a tenth of an inch maybe a little bit higher this is just one model depiction others have significantly less so i'm not trying to scare anybody but this will cause some slick roads out there especially the back roads bridges, overpasses, things like that. Still not feeling like it's a high enough amount to cause us power outages, but a couple sporadic ones, of course, possible here or there. Where we have all snow all the time to the north, we're talking about four to six, a very, very messy two to four, and this might be a little more compact. So that two to four might be smaller than what I put it on there. We can go from everything to nothing in a system like this over maybe 10 miles. So keep in mind, it's a little bit fluid, but that possibility for those kinds of totals is there. Wind speeds will pick up to about 10 to 20 miles per hour, so not awful out there like what we had yesterday, but still going to be pretty gusty nonetheless. Now, once that system leaves us, pretty calm for Friday. We're going to stay calm as we go into Saturday as well, but things will start to really warm up for us into Saturday. So again, we are looking for mix turning into snow, so please be very careful out on those roadways. Temperatures will be falling as we go through the day in many, many locations. Our cold day arrives on Friday before we're right back up into the 40s for the weekend. That'll melt everything off, and don't forget the zoo is offering free admission right now so might actually be a really good idea to go out there and clear your head as we go throughout the weekend and then of course into next week we might be doing this all over again looking at 34 with a wintry mix